Hi, my name is Wayne Mines, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer here of the National Civil War Museum. I'm also the biographer of Brigadier General Lewis A. Armstead of the Confederate Army. I'm standing next to an exhibit prepared about the general, and I want to tell you a little bit about him. Lewis Armstead was born February 18, 1817 in New Bern, North Carolina, but he spent most of his early life on a farm in Fauquier County, Virginia, about 45 miles west of Washington, D.C. At 16, he was appointed to West Point. He spent about 22 months at the United States Military Academy, but struggled with his studies. In a mess hall incident in 1836, he smashed a plate over future Confederate General Jubal Early's head, and he left the institution. But thanks to the influence of his father, a general in the U.S. regular army, and his uncle, a United States congressman from North Carolina, he was appointed an officer directly in the United States Army to the 6th Infantry Regiment in 1839. He spent 22 years in the United States regular army, and on the eve of the American Civil War, he was stationed at San Diego, California. He went up to Los Angeles, met with his friend Winfield S. Hancock, a man he had known from Pennsylvania as a young officer for almost 20 years, and the two of them discussed the future impending war. Armstead resigned his military service. He went east, and he was commissioned a colonel in the 57th Virginia Volunteer Infantry Regiment. He became a brigade commander in the Confederate Army in April of 1862. He fought on the Peninsula Campaign in Virginia at the Battle of Seven Pines, at the Battle of Auburn Hill. He was wounded at the Battle of Antietam. And at the Battle of Gettysburg on July 3rd, 1863, he was in the vanguard of the attack known as Pickett's Charge. Mortally wounded inside Union lines, General Armstead was taken to the 11th Union Army Corps Hospital at the George Spangler Farm, where he succumbed to his wounds two days later on July 5th, 1863. His body was taken to Old St. Paul Cemetery in Baltimore, Maryland, where it rests today. The military legacy of General Armstead lived on. His son was 18 years old during the time of the battle and was his aide. His grandson fought in the Spanish-American War and in World War I. And his great-grandson was part of an air crew during the Second World War in the United States Army Air Corps. 